Prospera. Today, a um, five-year-old princess in the morning told me, um, quite ironically, let me see now whether you'll be able to speak only for five minutes. And she's right. The reason, however, is that about 15 years when I started my own startup back then, Foresight, which is a public affairs and lobbying firm, um, allowed me to gather a huge number of stories that I think would be extremely useful to all of you that you are starting now your path. If I could, um, ah, and the most importantly, stories not only with regard to projects and places that have been, but mostly with people. People that uh, helped me, people that served their wisdom with me, supported me, that made me a better man, people that create obstacles, that try to ignore me, that also made me a better man. Um, if, however, I could sum up all those stories to one thing which would be useful to you today, that would be the profound need that we have to change the way we think, to change the mentalities that we have, the stereotypes. And of course, that has to do with the fact that one of the tiny little things that the crisis did was that it revealed all those ugly things that we've been hiding out underneath our society's carpet for many, many decades. Things that we don't like, we don't like to be reminded of them. Things that led us to today, things that they are keeping us to today. If, however, we need to find a way to move forward, in my opinion, we need to find a way to reset completely the way we think, the way we act, the way we feel that we have to be in our life, regardless of who we are, what we are, where we work, where we want to work, whatever. In my opinion, we need three things to achieve that, to move forward. First of all, we need to find a way to be self-conscious and realistic with regard to where we are, what we are, what we can achieve. And don't take it wrong, I'm not saying that you shouldn't aim high or you shouldn't dream. On the contrary, aim high, as high as is possible, and dream. But dream things that with hard work, commitment, you can achieve. I hate to break it for you, and you know it, that not all of you today will become the next I don't know, Steve Jobs, or you will invent Facebook, or iKiosk, or all these nice things that they are already work. Some of you, probably most of you, will become other things. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be able to be excellent, leaders, credible, successful, innovative. The second thing, in my opinion, is cooperation. For Christ's sake, we need to find a way in this country to explore the power of cooperation, and that starts with our ability to acknowledge that the idea that the, I, the other guy had is better than mine. And instead of boycotting it, instead of trying to copy it in an ugly way, instead of trying to create issues to him, to support him, to give him my ideas, to share ideas, and to synthesize a better tomorrow for both of us, and we will achieve far many more things. Next thing. Commitment. Strong commitment. Well, you know, I'm so that solutions will not be handed to us. We have to make them happen. And the fact that you are here today, the fact that Ignite is here today, the fact that Repower Greece and so many other initiatives are here today shows that we are committed and we are we have waken up, we are here. So we have to just, you know, make it happen. My friends, in my opinion we are in war. And this war is not what we read in the newspapers about the foreign markets, the foreigners, the, I don't know, people that want to destroy us. It's a war that we have with our ugly ourselves, the ugly version of ourselves. All those ugly, nasty things that we have been doing or other people might have been doing. And to move forward, we need to be able to bring results. We need to be able to be credible. And we need to be able to work together. Our friends in the States say, just do it, instead of keep wondering what the went wrong. In my opinion, I could say it in a very more delicate way, that the period that we had for inspirational slogans, for analyzing, for pointing figures to who's to blame, I think it's over. Now it's time to work. And believe me, there are many people that will support you. There are many people that know that your success will inspire and empower their success and together we can definitely move forward. 
the change of perceptions, the change of mentalities, something that we need to do. Thank you.